and fellow hobbyists welcome to another episode of card dreams and stirring i'm your host gary g and i'm so excited about the new stuff but these are first the topics of this show the riddle the fluke drike the one million dollar question tires valves Can you guess what that really is? The answer, the end of the show. So welcome back in the garage! Since I don't need no wings for this project, it was my first step to cut them off. The openings for the landing gear needed to be closed, so I decided to make some welding seams as well. Then I continued to glue together the body parts and you know, mount it in the engine. Scribed the panel lines and drilled out the rivets. Then I took my model and uh, went to the paint booth. I wanted to go with the army camouflage look. Now it was time to assemble the front suspension, put some wheels on that beast with the gearbox and brake wiring, and that's pretty much it. Now enjoy the finished build. your comments uh, really appreciate that some are very interesting some are challenging and some are so out of frame that I thought well I have to answer it online so one ask you know not about my shirt or something or my head no he asked why Gary is it that your chair has just like one armrest well, I could say it was cheaper because of that. 
or you know the Lord just gave me that one whatever the truth of matter is though that I use that chair also to practice so I practice in the studio here and uh, so if I have my guitar and I would have armrest here I couldn't play my guitar that's why my chair has just one armrest So this week I want to talk about go a little bit in detail extreme. Well, this is a nice tire with nice rims. Did you figure what's actually missing here? Well, I can tell you. Actually what's missing here is the valve. You know you have no valves in those tires usually. Well, they're simple to make and I'll show you how. You take an old piece of sprue and then you have your lighter and all that you do is kind of warm it up. Wait a little bit, warm it up some more. Until it's really soft, yeah we're getting there. And now you just pull it. I was not waiting too long. Try it again. This is all about. There you go. So you can do it as thin as you want to. And if you hold it for a second, it stays the way it is. Okay, so what you're doing is, now I did that before, you have now your sprue, I'll cut that here. What you're doing now is kind of, you need, now you have the straight part of the valve, but you also need the little cap, right? To make this, we go with the lighter and just touch it, you just touch it and and as soon you feel like it looks like a little mushroom, then you're already there. There you have it. I don't know if you can see that. I hope so. You have this little mushroom-like thing. Then you go ahead and paint the thing, of course, in the color that you need that. There you go. You need a little drill and you make that happen in your rim. Well, of course I do that like fast, fast. You take more time. It might look even better. But so then you cut it in length. Where are you going? Oh, you're over here. So, now we don't run away. There you go. Then you take your tweezers. Try not to lose the thing. And there you go. It might be a bit a little bit long, but you know, just for showcase. And there you have it. It's a little bit long, I have to fix that. But there you go. And there, I hope you can see that. There you have your wealth.
here the answer to our little riddle. of Cut Dreams in Styrene. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Don't forget to tune in next Saturday at the same time. And as always, love and friendship is something you can't buy. Respect all people. Keep that hobby alive. See you next Saturday, folks. Gary Gee, the Blip, the Serene.